this is Felicia and welcome to my channel. I am outdoors. It is a nice fall day. It is not too cold and it is not too hot, but there is a lot of humidity. So what I'm doing today is um, I want to welcome you all first of all to my channel. And I have some things that I need to discuss because I have been asked many times, how do I keep myself organized for school? It's not easy, but there are some steps that I do take to help me keep on track to keep myself organized. So we're gonna talk about these steps here and we're going to talk about it as we turn around and flip around so you guys can see the fallness behind me. This is down the street from me and it's beautiful. Look at those trees, you guys. Let's look at those trees. If you see some of my videos in the past, you will know that I talk about organization and having a study space. All right, and the next thing you wanna do, step number two, is you want to prepare your readings, your books, your assignments. Be prepared. Be prepared to sit down for at least an hour and a half to two hours. Turn around that way, look at those trees behind me. One of the next things you wanna do when it comes time to being organized for your schoolwork, oh my gosh, and I'm really guilty of this, is read your syllabus. I know a lot of us do not read our syllabuses, but that is one of the things that you wanna make sure that you do, is read your syllabus. Your syllabus contains the information, in other words, what he wants you to do. It contains the instructions, the due date, and what format that he wants your, re your assignment done in. If you have an assignment that has a rubric, that is the next thing you want to do is you want to read your rubric. Your rubric doesn't tell you what to do. What it does is it explains what your professor wants. It explains the outline on what he wants. It explains the material, the content that he is trying to get you to put in your assignment. A lot of people do not read their rubrics, but it is very important for you to read your rubric. And here's one thing that I think that we all are kind of guilty of is remove your phone from distractions. It is so easy to just pick up that phone when you get an alert of some kind. Turn it off. All that's going to do is have you procrastinate on the assignment that you're supposed to be getting done. So turn it off. You definitely want to bring yourself some water, some snacks, some coffee, or anything else that you think that you might need as far as you sitting down and getting your studying done. This is important because the brain needs fuel and you also need water to stay hydrated. That is one of the tips that I highly, highly recommend. One of the next tips that I have, oh my gosh, is stick to schedule as much as you possibly can. It is so easy to get off track. Now, I'm not going to say that it's possible to always stick to that schedule, but try your best to do so. And the last and final step, you guys, self-care. I cannot begin to tell you how important self-care is. Take care of yourself, eat, sleep, do what you need to do, exercise, stretch, get up periodically between the times. Stretches or getting up frequently is so important to maintaining a healthy mind so that you can study, maintaining a healthy body so that you can study, maintaining a healthy mental state so that you can study. Get up frequently. Okay guys, now that I have given you these tips, we're going to recap on the tips that I have given you. The first one is study area. Get yourself a study area. Two, clean your area. Have your study area cleaned. Prep the books and assignments and things like that that you're going to need to study. Readings, books, assignments, and prepping those things will pretty much help you. Read the assignment. It is very important to read the assignment because the assignment has instructions. Read your rubric. The rubric is very important because it contains information that to make it right. This is what the professor is looking for in your writings or assignment. And so that's why he gives you the rubric. The rubric is not there to tell you what to do. It is to help guide you and it gives you guidelines so that you can input the material that the professor is looking for. The professor just wants to make sure that you are understanding the material that they have been lecturing to you. Read your syllabus. That gives you the due date for your assignment. You wanna make sure that you double check that syllabus. It is so important. Remove all distractions. Turn off that phone, turn off any notifications that you get on your computer. So that way you can study in peace. You're only gonna be studying in increments of an hour to an hour and a half so that you can get up and take a break. You can check your stuff at that time. 
have plenty of water and snacks or coffee or tea whichever floats your boat but have those things available and within reach so that you do not have to get up and interrupt your study because you might be in a, on a roll or something like me you want to make sure that you have plenty uh, to eat snack whatever drink snack drink snack drink wait I'm snack drink next thing you want to make sure that you stick to the schedule stick to a schedule the schedule something that you created when school started and then the last one self-care it is important that we take care of ourselves whether it was getting up to stretch it was laying down and taking a short nap whether it was going to take a cold shower or a hot shower whether it was getting a snack whether it was going out for a walk which I can say this is what I did today I went out in between my studies to go for a walk so it is time for me to get back to studying I really so greatly greatly appreciate you taking the time out to tune into my channel to give you some advice on how to stay organized while you are studying I do have a goal and I have a goal that I see every day it is posted every day so that I don't um, get distracted and and go off on another tangent of some kind so be sure to subscribe and don't forget to check out my Instagram and you guys have a great and wonderful wonderful week peace don't let it fall on me.